Hi, my name is Arya, and I'm seven years old. My birthday is June 30th, um, and I'm here to read my third book. It's called Ox Cart Man um, by Donald Hall, um, pictures by Barbara Cooney. Ooh. Barbara Cooney. Oh, my cousins. All my cousins. Well, not all my cousins. My cousin. One of my cousins' last name is Cooney, who I said in the first book, um, "Do Pirates Take Bass?" Um, was in my reading club. Um, I just read "Little Dragon Makes Friends," and before this one, this was my first one, which is "Do Pirates Take Baths?" Um, and anyway, I'll start reading. Um. Ox Cartman. Uh, this this is one of this is my most one of my most favorite basically, but near the top because it um had the Calicult um medal right here. So anyway, that that's probably the man, and then the ox, and then the cart. That's why it's called the ox cart. Mm man not that's not man that's not a man sorry man anyway let's get started the ox cart man by donald hall pictures by barbara C cooney can't really say barbara or something in october he in October, he backed his ox into his cart, and he and his family filled it up with everything they made or grew all year long that was left over. It's just just the beginning. He packed a bag of wool. He sheared, he sheared from the sheep in April. Packed his shawl, his wife wove on a loom from yarn, then spun in a spinning wheel from the sheep sheared in April. Wow. He packed five pairs of mittens his daughter knit from the yarn spun at the spinning wheel from the sheep sheared in April. Oh, yeah, let me show you the page. Well, the picture. He packed candles the family made. He packed linen made from flax they grew. Um, he packed singlets he split himself. He packed rich brooms his son carved with braro kitchen kitchen from a with a braro kitchen knife. He packed potatoes they dug from their garden, but first he counted out potatoes enough to eat all winter and potatoes for, for seed next spring. He packed a barrel of a barrel of apples, honey and honeycombs, turnips and cabbage, a wooden box of maple sugar on ma from the maples they tapped in March. They boiled and boiled and boiled the sap away. He packed a bag of goose feathers that his children collected from the, from the barnyard geese. All the things they packed. When his cart was full, he waved goodbye to his wife, his daughter, and his son. He walked at his ox head 10 days whoa 10 days Ox head 10 days that's a long time over hills through valleys by streams past farms and villages this is a long picture hmm. anyway Until he came to Ports, Portsmouth and Portsmouth Market.
So, um, this is the Portsmouth Market, I believe. He sold a bag of wool. He sold the shawl his wife made. He sold five pairs of mittens. He sold candles and shiglets. He sold bridge brooms. He sold potatoes. He sold apples. He sold honey and honeycombs, turnips, and cabbage. He sold maple sugar. He sold a bag of goose feathers. Can you kind of see um, what he sold? Then he sold the wooden box he carried the maple sugar, and then he sold the barrel he carried the apples, and then he sold the bag that he carried the potatoes in. Then next he sold his ox cart. Then he sold his... Can I show you these pictures? Sorry. Um, then, he sh then he sold his ox cart. Right here. Sold his ox cart to this man. Then he sold his ox and kissed him goodbye on the nose. Sold his ox. Sold his ox. Then he sold his ox yoke and yoke yoke. Whatever. And harness with his pockets full of coins. He walked through Portsmouth Market. He bought an iron kettle to hang over the fire at home. And, and for his daughter, he bought an embroidered needle that came from a boat in harbor. Then he that has sailed all the way for, from Eng, in England. And for his son, he bought a barlow knife and carving birch brooms with with, 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 ugh, carved bricks, brooms with. And for the whole family, he bought two pounds of winter green peppermint candies. Wow. Two pounds of winter green peppermint candies. Uh, I can't see it really right now, but, oh, now I can see it right down here. If you could cut it. Good. Look at it. Then he walked home with the needle and and his, the knife and the winter green pe winter green peppermint candies tucked into the kettle. And 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 a stick over his shoulder stuck through the kettle's hand and coins still in his pockets. Um. Can you see the man? See if you can see me on there. Hmm. Let's see. Now can you see me? He's walking. There. Now you can see him. Um Past farms and villages, over hills and valleys by streams, until he came to his farm, and his son and his daughter and wife were waiting for him. Yeah. Some people have to walk, like, homeless people have to walk, like, five miles just to get water. That's why we should help them. His daughter took her, her needle and began began stitching and his son took his barlow knife um barlow knife and started whittling whittling whatever it says um and they cooked dinner in their new kettle and afterward everyone ate a winter green peppermint candy and that night the ox cart man sat in front of his fire stitching new harness for a young ox in the barn New kettle and stuff. And then he carved a new yoke and sawed planks for a new cart and split singless all winter. 
do you see on that box? Goes right here, and then he's sketching and stuff. While his mice wife made flax into linen all winter, and his son carved Indian brooms from bricks all winter, and everybody made candles. His daughter. His wife made flax all winter, his daughter and brooms. Yeah. Okay, I took that already. You see, um, yeah. Um, and in March they tapped the sugar maple trees and bo and boiled the sap down. You see all that? Right here. Um, in April they sheared the sheep, spun yarn, and wo woven knit. Ted. Oh, I see the little baby sheep on this page. You see it too? It looks especially small without its fur. Have you ever wondered if um you would be if you were a sheep or if you saw a sheep that they would be cold without their fur? I guess not because March is kinda hot. And and in May, wait, did I show you the picture? I think so. And in May, they planted potatoes, turnips, and cabbages while apple blossoms bloomed and fell while bees woke up and started to make new honey. So, see all of it? This is the last page. And geese squawked in the barnyard, dropping feathers as soft as... The end. I hope you enjoyed my book. Um, see other videos.